That was okay, I guess. I don't know. Stay out of trouble. I like that they added these things so far, like the arena and the arcade, but I'm not terribly, like, impressed with them at this point. Should I go in here, or should I go explore the first floor of this area? I am answering my own question by just doing it. I think we can just, yeah, this is the arcade. Okay, you can get in the first floor, second floor. Nice. Francis Kidd. He brings a raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired casting. I like to think I have an eye for talent. Mm-hmm. Truly a theater major. off the walkway there. Uh, wait for Javik. Okay. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? No. I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard. I didn't realize you were coming too. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. Aw. All right, places, okay. everyone. This might have been quick, his big quick, break. Quick. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. Ooh. And... I didn't recognize action. that. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. <laughs> urgently so. <laughs> uh, a dorks. But there is hope. The council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. So are you guys just making this up, or what? Of course not. A writer wrote it, so it must be true. Hmm. <laughs> Little meta ah, here. You die now. Vorcha counselor. <laughs> Not yet. That line comes later. <laughs> the Vorcha counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Prothean elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you. <laughs> Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar. <gasps> oh my to God! This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. It's Blasto. Blasto, about time you showed up. The galaxy is under attack by reapers. I don't know if I've ever seen a Hanar move before. Warned us about them years ago. This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts <laughs> fell on obstructed. Shepard's hating it. Uh, actually, that was me, Sovereign. Oh, Saren, I wish I wouldn't have done this. Him. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Protean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Ooh. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Protean, no like you! <laughs> this one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. Mm. So wait a minute, Blasto, the character's actor's name, is also Blasto? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, I'm already a Spectre, dude. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. 
Cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Uh oh. Look! It's Sovereign's half brother sluggard. And he's looking for some. There's a Mako there. Cue the stunt double. Ooh. Nice. Nice work, dude. Say your line. You'll die now. Oh no. The Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated. Hmm? Okay. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the counselor's name on it. I'm just gonna let this go. I wanna see it. Prepare for death. This one wishes he was still frozen in a refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? That was a pretty good ad lib, Javik. Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. <laughs> Uh, okay, that was fun. Stupid, but fun. Oh, hello. Informative. With the production of Francis Kidd's All L for Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. An Elcor actor, that's interesting. Alright, Moneybags is here. They call me Mr. Jackpot. Hey, wait a minute, this is just pretty much the same set as the other casino that we were in. Unless this was the casino that we were in before. Maybe it was, and I just didn't pay attention. Alright. Okay. Is there a dance floor up here? Oh yeah, this must be the same one. Yeah, it is the same one. What can I get for you? I would like a drink. You're not gonna serve me a drink. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm feeling it, man. Dancing with my set and uh 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 live a had a oh that guy is fruitier than an uh -huh. <laughs> come on he they should give him another guy to dance with he's clearly gay what should we do first mm, it's a giant black orb out there. Garrus looks sharp. Damn. Ooh, there's a Turian female as well. Uh, that's my oh, she's Shepherd. making eyes at you. Look. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly, we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. Oh, Garrus. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop. I don't like this. I was thinking a date. Garrus has never been one to have a problem with letting his hair down. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? <laughs> and... Hmm. Dude, you're awful at this. I thought you and Tally were kind of having a thing here. I shouldn't have introduced her to him, knowing that Suspecting that he and Tally are having a thing. One. Two, uh, he should be way better at this. Remember, you're an archangel. I'm so, totally a wingman here. There were, uh, <clears throat> there were these mercs raising hell on Omega. I had to take them down. Now I've got these scars. Hmm? I see. Maybe there's an ointment <sighs> for that? Oh no, he's bombing. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. I'm here to unwind. Eesh. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it.
Whoa, did I just steal a drink? I did just steal a drink. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I What just happened? To have a drink with you. What? So I just took that Turian's drinks and gave them to Garrus? I don't what the hell just happened there? I, I thought she was leaving and then suddenly she's just standing there again with <laughs> there's that guy. Oh, there's two of them. Wait a minute. Are they synchronized? No, not quite. Look at him go, though. He's really into it. Yeah, I like that, <laughs> that little move that he does. Where he turns his head back and forth, side to side. Watch. This one. Wait for it. That one. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll, I'll, I'm going to use that one. Damn, that's, that must be security right there. Yeah, this is the same casino, I'm guessing. What was... what? Purchase party supplies. Okay, I think that's outside the casino, though. Is there somebody else I was supposed to meet here? No access. Beat it. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Must have changed up security after the bad night this casino had recently. Good. The break was nice. We've been fighting Reaper Vanguard, huh? Oh, that's brutal. I know, right? Why did I even bother equipping us with barriers against those guys? Hey, at least you can get your barriers back up if you charge someone. Big winner at the roulette table tonight. Congratulations. Kinda like this song. Ooh, it's... Elcor will probably have a hard time hanging out in most of these spaces, given that there aren't, like, chairs or walkways that are really big enough for them. Uh, okay, so this place is kind of a letdown after the party of the night. There's nobody to talk to. Okay, so where's the party supplies thing? It's gotta be outside. Bar. Oh, I purchased party supplies at the bar? Okay, that seems odd. No funny business. Hey, you want to buy something, some party supplies? You know, snacks and drinks and ice and cups and uh, decorations? Go to the bar in the casino. That's where you pick them up. This seems very weird. What should we do first? Oh, it was right there and I didn't even see it. I was so busy asking for a drink. Okay, got him. Let's go somewhere else now. So did all these emails that we got appear in our journal? No, they didn't. Just the party thing. Whoop! Sorry, didn't watch where I was going there. Uh oh. Gotta be a trick to it. No tricks. Just lucky. Nah. Nobody gets that lucky. Come on. Like I said, just a good run. Please stop touching the water. Security's just gonna let it ride, huh? Alright, Garrus, good luck, man. We'll see you back at the party, I guess. But I really kinda thought he and Tally had a thing. I don't think she'd be happy. Come on in. She was jealous about the uh, chocolates hey, thing. How are you? <gasps> Looking forward to tomorrow. Of course I remember. Lands. I thought you could meet me down on the strip. We'd go from there. Anything you want to do, just name it. You want to go where? Oh. I don't know that this is universally true, but in my experience, when you're trying to plan a date person that you're going on a date with usually really, really uh, appreciates it if you already have a plan in mind. Because it usually to them means like, wow, this person actually took the time to think 
about what I would enjoy, and they made an effort to set that kind of thing up. People really enjoy that. It's just saying, like, hey, you want to go on a date? Sure. What do you want to do? Like, uh, we'll do whatever you want to do. It's like, no, 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 no. you got to have a plan in mind, dude. Have a plan, even if, you, even if you're worried that the other person might not like it. The fact that you've, you've planned it out ahead of time and put thought into it, your date will be into that. Send invitations. I wish whenever I walked into the house, whatever I had to do was just a giant word bubble floating in the air. It'd be great. Uh, oh, right. Any new messages? No. I have that song in my head because something in the casino reminded me of it, kind of. Uh, Alright, so they're invited. Let's just invite everybody, right? The only person I think that can't come is uh, Miranda because we haven't finished her portion, her mission in this game yet, so she's not available. Everybody else should be available, though. Invite all. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Energetic, baby? Let's get wild. I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. Sweet. I will also modify my appearance to be more... <laughs> I want to see this. Hot pink? What? Come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Put on some casual wear. Thank you. Why are you all wearing? You're, everybody's wearing Happy their here, boring Shepherd. clothes. <gasps> Kasumi? Hang out with guests. You got it. Every chance I get. Hey, oh. <laughs> it's not hot pink. He just has a bow tie. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. No, they didn't. Oh, golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with this open ground. Dude, I want a t-shirt that says Party Vega. That'd be pretty sweet. Hey, Shepard. Sushi? Oh, that looks good. Sure. How's everyone doing? Better now that I got one of these. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. This was a great idea, Shepard. We've all learned a little R and R. Bet we have, James. Here's to us, and a chance to rest. Cheers. I don't have a drink, but cheers. I thought Ash was talking about how she wanted to be in a formal gown and everything. She's like, I look really good in a dress. And here she's just wearing her freaking armor. Seems like kind of a shame. Whoops. Whoop. Whoop. James? Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Damn. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? Sweet. James is going to get this place lit up. You know why Cerberus is going to lose? Demographics. If you recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. I'm sure they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I believe the expression is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> um, why? Okay, so why is Jacob here? His wife, his not his wife, but Dr. Bryson's having a baby, right? Uh, he should have either brought her, or he should be with her. I like that he's here, but he should have brought her with him. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when Jacob was in charge? Mm. Excuse me. 
What specific time period are you referring to, Jeff? Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's mm. one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. No, it wasn't. We Mass Effect 1, they kidnap people and would the submit them to the craziest shit. And we were doing good work. And crunches. <gasps> Lots of crunches. Kasumi. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. True. However, Cerberus did successfully revive Shepard from a near-death state. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus. Near-death? And started killing all their guys. <laughs> For which we thank you. Uh. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus product? Yeah, and your boobs are ridiculous. Oh, crap. Uh, so wait, Kasumi was super into Jacob way back when uh, in Mass Effect 2, but uh, she knows that Jacob's spoken for, right? But she was just joking about crunches and stuff. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Hmm? Not the best icebreaker. That's it? Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Yeah. You won't be able to have fun much longer, man. You're gonna be a daddy. Glyph? Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Nah, dude. Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Samara's Commander. here. Wait, I haven't talked to everybody yet. Oh, shit. I think... Oh, no. I didn't get to talk to half the people before we did that. I heard there's a big party. Runt? Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. Uh, turn away or invite up? Do I care? I probably don't want non-friends here. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. <laughs> I see that. Crud's just bouncing people. Just trying to get in? Mm. Not really. No. Get lost. Oh, God. <laughs> just one no. lonely Batarian. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. No. Great work. Oh, good. Thanks. No. See. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Yeah. Will do. I told you already. No. Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Oh, grunt. Hey, Shepard. Thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Yeah, the music is getting rowdy. Hey, sweetheart. We never really <gasps> sweetheart. talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Yeah. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> what do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. Me neither. I like the way the colors blend. And the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are a complicated individual, Baid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. Uh, just, that just reminded me of something. If you guys ever get a chance, uh, I would go to the Art Institute in Chicago, which is a really 
great art museum. And I had no idea what the fuck I was looking at sometimes, and it was kind of like, I didn't get very much out of it, you know? Uh, and then I happened to go one time with a friend of mine named Steve, who was visiting from uh, St. Louis. He was visiting me in Chicago. And he was uh, an art major in school. He had an art degree. I'm not sure what, what kind of degree it was. I thought you were dead. I'm not sure what kind of art degree it was, but he ended up um, touring around with me. Whoa, Jesus. Sorry, Kasumi. Oh, my God. That was well done. Uh, he ended up accompanying me to the uh, throughout the art museum, and it was so much more interesting having him with me, because he could tell me, oh, this is by this artist, and he was part of this movement, and this movement was trying to do this, this, and this. It's like, ah, okay, I can see that. I see that in the artwork. It was really cool. It's like, holy shit, if I'm ever going to tour an art museum again, I would really like to have uh, somebody who knows what the fuck they're talking about. This place have? Dude, Kasumi, close your legs. What the hell are you doing on my bed like that? Hi, everyone. I missed the conversation you guys were having, didn't I? Rats. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. Ooh. This is a really good Because you're Trisha Helfer, that's why. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? <laughs> <laughs> Tell he can't handle it. You said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the tree <laughs> I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofit. Oh, uh, no, you weren't. Really? My diagnostic. Oh god, Evie. I'm with you, Tally. Let's talk about cheese. To get herbs, dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. Hell, she could probably read your pulse rate. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Wait, Yeesh. it is dextro cheese, right? Did I forget to scam the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Oh, Tally's fair, tipsy. Trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Mm. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm <laughs> just going to run a toxin treatment program. <laughs> so Telly. I don't die. Telly is the freaking cutest. Man. I'm just going to sit here quietly. Quietly and hope someone changes the subject. You don't have to. Awkward. Dude, just leave. There's plenty of conversations to hang out with. 